Tommy, welcome to Crow Alexandra. Congratulations on the deal. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, I'm um, yeah, really happy to be here. Really happy to obviously get the deal done. And um, yeah, looking forward to what I hope will be a very successful season. Obviously, I've spoke with the manager and stuff, and it seems like a really sort of exciting team, exciting club. Everyone speaks sort of very highly of the, you know, the way they play football here, which is sort of very appealing to me. And um, yeah, I'm just really glad to be a part of it and hope I can um, you know, put in some good performances and help the team to a good season. When did the first connection come about? When did you hear of the interest? Um, probably you know, over the summer, maybe a few weeks ago. Um, but then, you know, again, I think they were in contact with my sort of agent and stuff. And, um, you know, I was up in Scotland last year, so um, to be back here in England is also, you know, nice sort of family-wise, a lot closer to home. And, um, yeah, as soon as sort of, you know, I heard the interest, I sort of did a bit of my, research, my own sort of research and stuff. And as I say, everyone really does speak very highly of, um, of the club. And, um, and yeah, I'm just, yeah, delighted to be here and can't wait to go now. I was going to ask that actually, obviously the manager puts a lot of effort into doing the background research on the character of players, but also I suppose you're doing the reverse when you meet him and, and get your first impressions of him. What, what did you find when you met him? Yeah, well, to be honest, I actually haven't met him face to face yet because um, I spoke to him over Zoom, <laughs> like the way times are so <laughs> these days. Um, obviously I was up in Scotland, so it was quite difficult to obviously get down here, but um, yeah, I was you know really impressed. Um, obviously, he was a sort of defender himself, and um, the way he, you know what he showed to me, sort of you know, via <laughs> the laptops on Zoom, um, the way the team played football was sort of really appealing. And um, you know, he thinks he can sort of improve me as a player, which is really important to me. I sort of feel like you know, I think you can always always improve at what age you're at, and I feel like there's a lot of development sort of left to myself. So I'm really looking forward to working with him and. Um, Hopefully, yeah, as I say, you can sort of bring out the best in me and then hopefully that will in turn then help the team as well. Yeah, it's interesting because obviously, you know, a lot of young players come through the door sort of 18, 19 and it is known as a development club and that is the key thing. But uh, you're sort of in the middle of your career now, but you still feel that, that was something that was important to you, you know, in terms of deciding to come here? Yeah, 100%. I'm, I'm you know, a sort of firm believer that no matter who you are, you've always got sort of room for improvement. and. Um, you know, I, I definitely know there's, there's plenty for me to, you know, work on in my game. You know, whether you're 18 or 32, 33, there's there's, there's always room for improvement. And um, speaking to the manager, you know, he came across as, um, you know, firstly a good person, but then, you know, like a good coach as well. He seemed to enjoy the challenge of sort of improving a player and coaching a player. And um, and yeah, I'd say that was that was appealing to me. You said you did your own research. How did you do that? Did certain players you spoke to or? Yeah, kind of obviously speaking to my sort of agent first and then um, speaking to other you know, boys that sort of um, you know, play against crew and stuff sort of down here, been in the league in sort of recent years and they, um, uh, you know, boys I did speak to, the sort of one common sort of thing that they all said is I play really good football, really good football and um, that's something that, you know, I want to be a part of and um, obviously winning is the most important thing and I'm quite aware of that but if you can win while playing nice football, that's all you know, sort of an added sort of bonus. And um, and yeah, um, as I say, yeah, really looking forward to getting going on. So you, you, we know you're a centre half, but what sort of centre half are you? Are you someone who wants to get the ball down and play? And obviously, I suppose first and foremost, you've got to defend them. Yeah, I think um, obviously, like I'd like to say, is obviously get the ball down and play. I think everyone does, but um, I would still definitely say that you know first and foremost, I'm a defender and. That's probably what I'm best at is defending and you know stopping goals going in. That's always going to be my sort of number one, number one job, number one role. And um, you know, at times obviously it might not always, you know, it does it can't always be pretty, um, you know, ticky tack football, especially as a as a defender. But um, yeah, I like to think that I can, you know, get sense danger and you know defend my box well, stuff like that. Basics that a defender can do, um, that you know should be able to do. And then yeah, I feel like I can, you know look after the ball, come to on the ball and um, and yeah, can play sort of centre half, play full back a lot as well, so I feel like I'm quite versatile across the um, back here. Yeah. And obviously last season was weird for all of us, but particularly players themselves. I'm sure that you're, you're hoping and looking forward to getting, obviously, meeting the fans and, and, and the fans have actually been allowed to be there. Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, um, yeah, for myself personally, it's been, I think the last time I played in front of fans was like two and a half years ago. Or, maybe whenever 2019 anyway but um so it seems like forever sort of um 
since I've seen fans in the stadium. But yeah, I can't wait to you know, get back, have that sort of extra buzz. And um, yeah, the fans are going to be really important for us this year, as, as they always are. And I'm sure as much as we're you know, looking forward to having the fans back, I'm sure they're even more desperate to sort of get back into the stadium. So yeah, hopefully we can put in some good performances for them, get some good results and and you know, make their, their Saturday and Tuesday evenings a bit more enjoyable. <laughs>